Tonight we're learning more about a former student athlete who was killed Wednesday afternoon. Kayla Solomon spoke to one of his former coaches to find out what he was like in the classroom and on the field. On Wednesday afternoon, 22-year-old Demonte Ivey was shot on Lee Avenue in Eastman. The GBI says he and one other man were taken to Dodge County Hospital where Ivey was later pronounced dead. Ivey's former football coach and athletic director Rex Hodges says he was a defensive end at the high school for three years. Demonte played for us in uh, 2014, uh, 15, and 16. Hodges says Ivy started out as a basketball player playing every year he was at the school, but he soon recruited him to join the football team his second year. He says he quickly excelled in both sports. He played on one of our one of our region championship teams in 2015. Hodges says Ivy wasn't just a force on the field, but he also made an impact in the locker room. Monte was, uh, you know, he's always kind of happy-go-lucky. You know, he, he always seemed to be in a, in a good mood. Uh, he was well liked by his teammates and his, and his coaches. Hodges says he was shocked to hear what happened to Ivy and the entire Eastman community is mourning along with his family. For the most part, you, you feel bad about a, a young person, you know, that life's been cut short. And uh, uh, it'll, it'll take, us a, take us a while to get over it. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. The GBI says 23-year-old Alizee Lamkin, who was also shot, is expected to recover.